Well, today, thousands of New Yorkers received a raise. The new minimum wage for most of New York State went up to 11.80 an hour today. This is all part of the plan to increase the state minimum wage to 15 bucks. Some of eyewitness news reporter Taylor Epps shows us how the wage hike is impacting local businesses. Each new year brings change. One change impacting businesses is another increase in the minimum wage. The same thing happened last year and the year before that. It's part of Governor Andrew Cuomo's efforts to help working families that began in 2016. Because McDonald's and Burger King hasn't paid them enough money to get them out of poverty. The end goal is to reach a minimum wage of $15 all across New York State. This year, large employers like McDonald's have to pay their workers $1 more. But this also has an impact on our small businesses. I mean, as a small business, you wear all the hats. And so you have to be able to change with all the changes and, you know, roll with it. Otherwise, it's going to be hard to stay afloat. Being able to offer competitive wages, um, it's always challenging because it's not just the wage. It's everything that's associated with the wage. As of New Year's Eve, Gaetana Schickler will have to pay her employees at the Treehouse Toy Store at least $11.80 an hour, 70 cents more than last year. I mean, the customer pretty much expects us to be able to deliver very similar things as big behemoth companies, but we have a staff of five people. But for Therese Deutschlander at Thin Ice, it's not a hard adjustment to make. Because it doesn't change how I pay people. I always pay people over minimum wage. I don't think that this is damning to any business. Minimum wage will continue to rise nearly $1 each year until it reaches $15 an hour. Knowing that there's a plan in place makes it as much as it can be just a part of how you run your business. In Buffalo, Taylor Epps, 7 Eyewitness News.